Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Outdoors with Creed and thank you for joining me for my first video here in 2023. Um, I'm glad everybody was able to still be here on earth. Um, you know, it truly is a blessing and we shouldn't take that for granted. So again, thank you all for being here. Uh, hopefully I'll show you guys something that either will be something new to you or just something that will remind you of some old training. That way you can go back and revisit some of those old fundamentals of things that you learned previously and you've kind of moved away from it. But it's always a good thing to go back and review those old fundamentals. Uh, this year we're going to kick off with a, a gun talk video. And what I want to talk about is the... Uh, I don't even really know how to categorize it. But we're going to be talking about doing reloads, but in the event that you're injured and one of your your hand or arm is injured to where you can't do a good uh, functioning reload like you should, we're going to talk about a few different ways that you can uh, reload your gun to get back in the fight. You're, you're never out of the fight. Never ever give up. Never end the fight on your own. You're always in the fight until the very end. Okay? So let's... Let's talk about that real quick before we jump into that. I know you guys can't see it. Hang on. Wait. There there it is right there where it says Sheriff. Yes, this is one of my 1350 shirts. Y'all check out that link down below. Get you some 1350 uh, shirts, hoodies, beanies, hats, patches. They got the works. That way you can go and support your law enforcement, your first responders, and your military, and everybody within that little group, that community. You know, show them some love um, because they're out there day and night, you know, doing the job. So show your love, get some 1350 stuff. I'll leave that down below. Uh, the, the the video, geez, video that I'm about to do, I will be using my Cool Fire Trainer. I've already swapped it out on my gun. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my Glock 17. The uh, red barrel right there indicating my Cool Fire Trainer is already in. Um... My one mag, because I am wearing my duty belt that I wear at work, the one mag that has ammo in it, right here, but it is sitting over here on the table out of the way. My spare mag that I'll be using already has my little uh, orange peg for my magazine follower, so that way, just to let you guys know, everything here is safe, no live ammo here while we're doing the stuff except for that magazine. But uh, anyways, so... What we're talking about is when you're doing a reload and you are injured, how to use your gear or your kit. I'm not wearing a vest or anything, but how to use that stuff to aid you in getting that gun back into the fight. Right now, we're just going to be dealing with the pistols. So, uh, make some adjustments real quick. All right. Try to get back here, hopefully. Hang on, let me adjust my camera a little bit more for you guys so y'all can see. Please excuse the way the shop looks. Okay, you guys can see my gun right here on my hip. Ah. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now, here's what we're talking about, okay? My left hand here is injured, okay? Let's say I've taken a round to my arm or maybe my hand is cut or I've smashed it. And I can't really grip that magazine to uh, get it out of here to, to reload, okay? So, got my gun out. I'm in the fight. Here we go. I'm in the fight. Let's just say I'm, I'm standing, but I'm behind a wall. I have a wall here in front of me that is providing me some cover. This hand is injured, so it's out of the fight. I come around the corner. I fire a shot. Okay, and now I'm at slide lock. Here's what you can do. Do your normal, you know, go through your normal reload. Get that mag out of there. But then reholster your gun. Reach around, grab your mag, insert. Now, here's a couple of ways you can do this. When you redraw that gun out of the holster, Use your slide release like it was intended. Send it forward and get back in the fight. Okay? Another way you can do that 
Again, okay, slide lock. You reaching around, grabbing that mag, you insert, you pull. Now, use your gear. Whether you have a red dot sight or just your regular iron sights, grip it on something and rack it. Get it back in battery. Get back in the fight. Okay? That's one way you can do it. mag back in uh, just one second okay guys now this one is going to be demonstrating if I'm down on the ground again my left hand is injured again and let's say now I'm down on the ground and I'm in the fight okay I've shot and now I'm at slide lock after you take that shot and you drop that mag take your gun and tuck it into your knee and sit back on it. Right hand, grab that magazine, insert it again. Once you re-grab your gun, either use that slide release or your boot right there, put your sights on it, rack that slide, and get back into the fight. Okay? There's just a couple of ways that, uh, So that's just a couple of ways that if you're injured, you can get yourself back into the fight. Um, you know, if you got to put a couple rounds down range and then put a tourniquet on that arm, get it uh, cinched down and everything. And even if you're doing a, a tactical reload, you know, again, you've been in the fight. Now you've stopped, you've reholstered, and now you're going to put on that tourniquet, but you don't know how many rounds you have left in that gun. Drop that mag, tuck your gun in your leg, reinsert you a fresh mag, get back in the fight. You're always, you know, there's always a, there, there's always a way, that's what I'm trying to get at, to get yourself back in the fight, even if you're injured. Same principles, okay? I'm right-handed. So, if my right hand is injured, and now I'm shooting with my left hand, it's still going to be the same principles. Switch your legs, put that left leg down, tuck that gun in the crease of your left knee, and go through the same motions. Get back in the fight. If you have on a, a, a kit, a plate carrier, or a chest rig, and you have something on you that's rigid, hey... Take that gun, grip it on that stuff, rack it down, so that way you can work that slide to get back in the fight. The easiest way is probably just going to be hit your slide release. That's what it's there for. When you're at slide lock, mag drop, insert that mag, and hit that slide release and get back into the fight. That's that's going to be your easiest way, but that's a few different ways to reload with that one hand when you're, when you're in the fight and you're trying to get to a mag again, left-handed, bang, slide lock, well, drop your mag, tuck it, grab your mag, get it inserted, hit that slide release, get back in the fight. Always remember, never out of the fight. Find a way to get back in the fight until you either win the fight or backup shows up to help you and get you that extra um, medical that you need. To uh, That way you can keep on fighting another day. Never ever in the fight. That's all I got, guys. Uh, hopefully, like I said, hopefully that uh, that's something new to a few of you guys. Or maybe it's just something that you haven't really drilled over in a long time. And now I've reminded you, so now you can go back out and work on that. And, you know, just be proficient in what you're doing, uh, especially to my guys in the military and in law enforcement. We got to stay on top of our game, making sure that we are doing the best that we can. And the only way you can do that is with constant training with everything that you're doing. With that being said, uh, thanks for watching the video. 
uh, hit that like button if you like it, uh, leave comments, share the videos, and if you would, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, I'm be getting out some fishing videos because I'm dying to go fishing. The weather here is going back and forth, cold, hot, cold, hot, whatever. I don't care. I've been doing a few things, getting the boat ready, so hopefully here soon, I'll be pumping out some fishing videos for you guys. Uh, hopefully, I'll also be getting out on a live range, so then we'll actually uh, run over some of these drills again, but actually shooting live fire. Uh, I know you guys like the Cool Fire Trainer, but I'm pretty sure y'all are getting sick and tired of seeing the Cool Fire Trainer. Y'all want to see this, you know, with some live ammo, so hopefully we can get that going for you guys also. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Till the next time, be safe out there. See you guys in the next one.